Do you want to walk us through what we're doing today? Yeah, um, wrap you up, and then you die. Hashtag keep the fam close, Jeremy. I hope this gets to you in time for your birthday. Just want to show you my appreciation for all you do to help people like me. This product is pretty great, man. Let me know if you like it. Quan Lee, Le Clay, oh. Pete and Pedro Tommy. Bueno hair. Yo, what's good fam? Welcome back to another vlog. Yeah, I just want to give a big thank you to Quan. He was actually trying to surprise me with uh, something for my birthday and it's, it's bombing. Thank you so much, dude. You know I'm like a big hair fanatic. I like doing different things with that. Don't ask for another hair video. There's a big one in the works. I'm waiting for my widow's peak to grow back. We're gonna get a massive haircut and then talk about my favorite products. But Quan, I'm pretty sure by now, if you guys have been like scrolling through the comments, probably not. Quan's always there, dude. Like ever since he found my channel, he's been like one of my biggest supporters. I always see him. So I wanna give a big shout out to Quan. And not only that, but he remembered when my birthday was. And you guys, this is the part that blows me away. He reached out to my girlfriend, Nadia, slid in her DMs and was like, yo, I'm trying to send Jeremy this. Can we make sure the package like gets there on time? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. And it just blew my mind. He just went out of his way to just. So, Quan, when you're watching this, thank you again, dude. Like, this was such an awesome surprise, man. It means the world to me to have support such as yours. Thank you so much. Anyways, okay, so today, today, let's talk about vlogging. If you're just here for the vlog and you hate hearing me talk, you're gonna wanna fast forward to this number right here. But, anyways, here we. I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> Lately, on my vlogs, I've been trying to like record every single thing that happens throughout the day, and I noticed that like I've been getting burned out, and that's the truth. Like, it's one thing to be creative, and then another thing to actually sit down and edit what you created, and another thing to finally publish that. Like, but <laughs> who the hell? Do not disturb, turned on. Okay, here we go, take two. What I wanna do with my vlogs now is instead of trying to record an entire day and every little thing I do throughout the day, what I wanna do now is like take segments out of my day and make an entire story out of it. This is just for me to basically find a way to not burn myself out from YouTube because I enjoy doing this, but it's, it's been getting hard lately, especially with the triple red arrows, like what the? Anyways, um, grocery shopping and kickboxing, let's do this. Oh, hey there. Pulling up to Costco right now, look who's with me today. Yo, you missed this earlier, but we were in the car and I was feeling really, really, really nauseous, like sick. Like, can you can you tell the fam how sick I was? Super sick. Like, like she was worried about me sick, but I think I like had my headband on, I just tied it too tight and blood just didn't get to my head no more, but. Yeah, okay, Costco. <laughs> we have to see if these are hard. What? Hard. That's what she said. Why are these holes smaller than these holes? That's what she said. <laughs> Not hard enough. That's what she said. I already know I gotta pull up to my favorite. <laughs> what the? Yo, guys, the pretzel buns are gone. No freaking way. Even over here, oh, they're gone. Oh, so check this out. Nadia's not a big fan of vegetables. Hopefully she doesn't hear. Oh, she can, oh my. <laughs> Anyways. What are we getting? What are we getting? Uh, yeah. 
This actually looks really, really good. Eight to, oh, these macros are good. Moderate carbs, 32 carbs, eight grams of fat, and how much protein? 17. 17. I think we should, this, you should get this for breakfast. I think you should get this but for breakfast. But I don't breakfast. like cheese. Strip the cheese off and it's less fat. And protein. True that. <laughs> I want to, but this is a lot more funny. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Here, this is my hand. Come up. Oh my god. What? Are you mad at me? I'm gonna have a bruise here. You didn't help me. Are you mad at me? I didn't want to touch the ground because it's dirty. What is that? Read the box. So Nadia's biggest challenge right now in nutrition is she never wants to eat protein. Like, it's just not her. What? You don't even know me. So it's not that I don't eat enough protein. It's just that the amount I have to eat to maintain or cut is a lot. So I'm thinking about supplementing with protein shakes, but I don't know yet. Hey, 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 what are you saying to my fam? This is probably my favorite bread right now. Oh, oh, oh can we open that? Open what? Oh, uh, the, the, the. Bada bing, bada boom, Milton's healthy whole grain food. This is why, dude. So for 17 carbs, you get four grams of fiber. That's pretty close to like, um, that's nowhere near close to a one-to-one -one ratio, but it's better than some of these other breads, which are like freaking 30 grams of carbs for like two grams of fiber. Okay, so we just got our groceries at Costco right now. It is, it is 7.10 right now. We're supposed to be at kickboxing 7.45. I don't know how Nadia's gonna drop her groceries up. I'm gonna get my groceries and then all that stuff. Holy sh Wait, there's a, there's a So, we just called an Uber. No! <laughs> Uh, you're getting zero it's stars for that. Unacceptable. You gotta go. You would have been waiting outside, but you was taking a dump. <laughs> it was super last minute. <laughs> Swear. Oh my god. Yo, what up? Hey. Is Ron here? Ron is in the middle of his run. Oh. Are you mad at us? I'm so sorry. It's Michelle's fault. My heart just fell to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> no. Leave now. Is it tender? A little, yeah. So be careful. No. Power shots with your left hand. Okay. Just touch, touch, touch today. Okay. Do you want to uh, walk us through what we're doing today? Yeah, um, wrap you up, and then you die. That's pretty much about it. Yeah. Nadia, are you sure I, you I, I like that. It's, it's <laughs> simple. Simple. Oh God, so Remember in the last vlog, Ron was like, we're going to get a private session, and this, this is it, guys. Yeah, this is the last you'll see of Jeremy. It's very sad. I got my clickbait title. The end. <laughs> Just like that. This is crazy. We're the last people in here. Okay, so right now, my second time kickboxing. So we have a full-on private training session. We're gonna dial everything in. I'm hoping to get like dope content, and I hope Ron will like share what we're doing and stuff. Keep in mind, I'm a beginner. This is gonna be my second time. Yo, what are we doing? Perfect. Oh. Can you walk us through like a little? <laughs> A little of what we're gonna do today right now? Yes, if you must know, I was gonna try to make a surprise, but I guess uh, no. we'll do some oh, do no. no. Say after. Right. Do some conditioning and striking, kill you a little bit, make you learn a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe test that core a little bit, see what that bodybuilding core is like. We're gonna be working on multiple shots right now. Heads up, I tried to like practice by myself, but I didn't have proper equipment, so all of this, my knuckles right now are just messed up, so. Left shots, it's just gonna be touched. The right shot's gonna be my power shots for today. I, I don't know if I'm using these terms right or wrong or not, but uh, yeah, Ron will take it from here. Where's that noise at, Jeremy? Let me hear you hit. Ah! Asthma. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Let it out. Two, one, time. Rotate clockwise. We're not done yet, that's the first part. One person hold the bag, two people are hitting. Here we go, three power shots. 
Get a sprawl. Rotate clockwise. Go, go, go. Right to it. Right to it. Three. Sprawl. Three. Sprawl. I'm going to squat again. Yep. Squat as low as you can. Jump as high as you can. This is painful. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, time. Oh. Where am I? <sighs> I can't hold this still. <sighs> so this is what we look like right now. How you did? Tired. Yo, not is the best at conditioning. No. You. No. You killed it. No. Yo, tell. Let him know. What is this? Yo, is it Nadia like killing it? No. Woo! Only the claws thing. Anyways, should have took my asthma inhaler. I can't even hold this camera still right now, dude. Fuck. So while Ron's trying to teach me how to kickbox and all that stuff, I'm trying to teach him how to vlog, so he's gonna be recording. <laughs> I can't even talk. Step in with the right hip elbow. Now, because the elbows have the length of your arm, you have to get twice as deep, right? So if I'm at the proper distance here, I can't reach my elbow without getting past my front of my foot where I lose my balance, like we talked about before. So, jab cross at the proper punching distance, low kick, bang, then I get super close, like super awkward close with the elbow. Bang, and then I turn, okay? So, one more time, so, jab cross. Jab cross. Low kick, step in, elbow. Hook like this right now. What, what do we do, Ron? The hook. If someone throws a punch at you like this, what do we do? Besides get hit with it. Mm. Yes. <sighs> yeah, this is this is my asthma in full effect. I can't even talk to you right now. I didn't bring an inhaler. I didn't bring an inhaler. That, <laughs> that ambulance out there, it's for me. On standby. <laughs> there <laughs> Holy fuck. Let's stretch. Uh, on the road, just like on the I'm gonna be next. So it's very, very awkward. A lot of human communication going on. You're scary, you're not scary. I can beat you up, you can beat me up, etc. etc. On top of that, when I look at the face, I can't see the leg kicks come. Looking at the legs, I can't see the headshots come. So what I like to do is I like the center point of the body, right over here. So from here, you can see your hands and you can see your feet. Okay? On top of that, it's not scary. You look at somebody like deep in the eyes, it's scary, it's funny, like it's all kinds of things. But if you look at their chest, it's nothing. There's no communication. All it is is just work. Right? So you cut that out. So if someone's ever trying to mad dog you, you can either look at their chest or look right in between their eyes. So, staring contest, that works too. When you stare at somebody, don't look at their eyes, look right in the bridge of their nose. And you can literally stare all day, you'll be fine. And you won't even flinch. No matter how scary or unscary you are though. So, the key to winning staring contests, and also not to get into mental warfare uh, when you're staring somebody down in a fight or altercation. Um, so, with that in mind, knowing that everything derives from our hips and our core, if I rotate this way, something has to come on this side. There's no way I'm going to turn this way and hit like that. It doesn't make sense. So, knowing that, I already cut off half the gates again. So, if I turn this way, something's coming from over here. So, when I'm here, and I throw, when I'm looking here, you already see this coming. So, what I want you to do is you're gonna duck under. There's different types of ducks. Just for today, you're literally just gonna squat down, and go right back up. You don't have to go so much that you're like all the way down here, just enough to clear my arms. So as I throw the right hook or left hook, I'm just gonna squat straight down and back up. And look at this, I'm wide open. And most people aren't gonna throw like this. They're gonna throw like this. Right? And look how exposed they are. Bang! Right cross, hook, whatever. Boom, and you're open. Okay? So, with a partner, I want uh, one person doing the hitting, uh, one person doing the dunking, two people doing the hitting. So let's say we're the hitters, you're the dunker. You're gonna fire a left hook, right hook, and she's gonna duck, duck. Yep, right at her face. Whoop, whoop, and gonna duck. Whoop, my hands up, though, just in case you're ready. We're gonna move around. 
if you so know what someone yeah, we're not hooking for real like we're like if we're the hooker we're just for if now since it's our first day we're gonna take it a little easy but once you get acclimated then we're gonna boom go full on now something to keep note just like in any sports or anything competitive if you know what your opponent or partner is gonna do you've already won you already know their next move right so i know she's gonna duck so i'm not gonna do this and hit an uppercut right it's dirty. <laughs> In a real fight, you don't really know what they're going to do. And so I'm going to guess that their head's going to be right there. So I'm going to eat where that head is. That head's not going to be there anymore. And that's how you're going to get out of that punch. At least one way to get out of that punch. That makes sense? Cool. So usually I have everybody clap. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So on three, we all clap just so we're on the same page. And then uh, let's glove up and get it. Ready? <laughs> that's a fight team. That's how we train for fights. We make loud noises. Alright, on three, one, two, three. Can I have that one more time for the record? It's difficult, you die, everybody dies. Michelle comes here all the time, she dies every single time. Um, the only difference is every time you come, you're gonna be able to do more in the same amount of time. And so, how much more death can you experience in the one hour, one hour and a half time slot? So, it'll be really cool to see what you guys are capable of. So, just keep it up, do your homework. You learned what to do if someone swings a hook at you, you duck under it, and then uh, the perfect, throwing the perfect left hook, if you guys are right-handed. I'm left-handed, so it's like, awesome. weird. I learned the right-handed way, then I try to do it left and I pray. I'll put you in the corner. You put me in the corner? Yeah, you do your own thing. Yeah, wait for the record, um, can we just have you demonstrate a hook and then a kick? Yeah, wait, what, the kick? Yeah, a kick, just for fun. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, you just slid some here, and then the right kick. Chipotle bowl on deck. Chipotle bowl on deck. Wow, we got like matching bowls. Oh, look, she doesn't eat her veggies. I knew it. It was all up front. But yo, that was. Yo. Yo. Okay, Santa Claus. That was unreal. I didn't like. So, th th what just happened? You have way more breaks than me and Michelle. Oh yeah, he did. He took so he many did. breaks. Yeah, he while we're like over here trying to fight, Wait. he's like <laughs> scurrying around. Yeah. And you're like koala <laughs> holding and you were just like putting on your glove like. I wasn't talking about that. That was not unreal. That was real. Uh, the, the, the kids and oh. their mom, that oh. was unreal. <laughs> I took an L today, for, like facts. That was hard. Yeah. Hardest training session that like, Asthma was in full effect. I've never been like held or felt like I've been held back before like that. Unreal. We're falling for the same shit. Nothing in the neighborhood. Had to pass another year. Tripping on the same beat. Nothing is so good. Yeah, two on one. Two on one. How come nobody's hitting her? Because she's moving that head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you hit her. You actually hit her. 